tell us more about about Marie Christian. You spent some time with her on various assignments over the over the last several decades. That's right, Hala. We shared some of the same trenches over the last couple of decades. And Marie, as we've all known, as has been reported very, very frequently today, was really indomitable. She had this incredible passion to do the right thing, mm -hmm. to do what this extreme profession demands and that is to report the truth and to humanize these terrible conflicts and these terrible wars. Those pictures that, she, that we just showed there of that little two-year-old boy, the words that we played of Marie when she talked to CNN earlier, really epitomize what she strongly believed in and what she gave her life for. Because she did give her life simply to tell the truth and to be there and to bear witness. And that is the most important thing, particularly when these crises are unfolding in darkness. We we yeah. need some more light. That is the most effective transparency and the most effective uh, disinfectant. And I really would hope that the Syrian government changes its policy, allows journalists in to report this story. And you know, you mentioned Marie Colvin's uh, courage, her, her bravery. Some of the most hardened war reporters, I mean, including Lindsay Hilsom, who I know you know, wrote a wonderful uh, tribute to, uh, to Marie Colvin saying even she thought Syria was too dangerous. Marie Colvin said she doesn't remember in recent memory an assignment more dangerous perhaps since Chechnya. Well, I think that's absolutely the case. Uh, many journalists have said that. It's been very difficult to get in. CNN has got in. A few others have gotten in and have done heroic work. It reminds me, I suppose, of Bosnia in the, in the old days, really. Now, 20 years ago, in April, the war in Bosnia, where a similar siege, medieval-style, overwhelming power, shelling, sniping civilians uh, in, the, in the cities and towns. And you know that it took so long. It took years yeah. for the world to respond beyond a humanitarian response. Well, now there's not even a humanitarian response in Syria yet by the international community. So I do hope that the UN international uh, humanitarian leaders, you just men mentioned Dame Amos, uh, also uh, Nave Pillay of the UN, I hope they are able to negotiate humanitarian corridors at the very least. And of course, one very important thing, Hala, yeah. when one bears witness to these kinds of crimes, when you see women and children being attacked, these, Hala, are crimes against humanity and those who perpetrated them will one day be held accountable. And that also is the value of this first-hand eyewitness that correspondents like Marie have given their life for. And, you know, you mentioned Bosnia and Chechnya as well. What we didn't have then and what we have now are these citizen journalists, these amateur videographers who were bakers or farmers just a few months ago, and now they're shooting these clips that they're uploading on YouTube, and it gives us a window into what's going on in homes. Rami al Sayed lost his life doing just that. So it's also these amateur citizen journalists who are helping us understand the story. Of course it is. It's they. It's also people like Remy O'Clique and all the others who've been killed doing this work. But also remember that one of the perils or one of the one of the, the things we have to be careful about, and Marie was careful about, is we cannot just depend on social media. Even as brave as those citizens are, journalists have to get independent you know, first-hand eyewitness, corroborate, mm -hmm. fact-check. And this is what Marie was doing. 